Welcome back to Tink's Garage. Garage. Been making some serious progress on the CB. Yes, we have headlight, we have uh, seat stuff coming on, all in progress, and uh, cheers. I know, I said I was gonna get on with it without you, but it's confusing and I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, so, blue from the switch goes to red from the headlight, which is the high beam. Uh, white from the switch goes to the blue from the headlight, which is the low beam, or normal headlight, and uh, red goes to the starter motor. Good, now we've got all that cleared up, I'll get on with it. Anyway, another quick top tink tip. So we're using bullets, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're using bullets or spades, um, but both the connections coming from the headlight itself uh, so I put a male on the red and a female on the blue and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side to the switch uh, so that there's no confusion and you can't marry them up to the wrong thing yeah and I don't mean wrong in a biblical sense so all that is stuffed in there like what manufacturers do uh, apart from this which is going to the start motor eventually and um what else oh yeah this uh well this is the other end of the earth lead which i've given myself copious length with um yeah because i don't know where it's going to go yet now i know i criticize the other builders for uh, bending this bracket um, but I understand why they did now because uh, this is on kind of the maximum adjustment having bent it back and um, here's the little spring that operates that switch and I've got it currently hooked into the return spring from the pedal which is not ideal I understand but It does work. I know it should be hooked into the same little loopy thing, but it's not long enough. And that's why they bent this. And that wasn't really ideal either. It is. You have no idea how many times you put things on, take things off, put things on, take things I'm off. I'm waiting to hear from you lot about the seat. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the electrics. Anyway, total sidetrack, um, but somebody on one of the forums was asking how to plug the uh, rev counter cable uh, on, the, uh, on the top of the cylinder head, and um, somebody suggested gluing a dime in there. I find a quarter fits better myself. Just saying, and I uh, just gooped it in there, so um, it'll probably fall off anyway. We found ourselves a perfect solution for the uh, brake reservoir. Yes, we did. Uh, no, not him obviously um, this yeah so uh, perfect diameter radius whatever and um, what this is obviously you can see there's a thread in it and as you screw it in it bulges the rubber out and as it happens it's a pretty perfect fit the trouble is it's some random imperial thread um, but well, I found this and that's perfect so now I've just got to find a bolt oh I think this calls for some precision engineering cheers we have installed the battery and the good news is switch lights up um, bad news is nothing else does like that for example yeah um, it does now because I've got a crocodile clip straight onto the fuse box uh, yeah yeah um, so we're not getting power to the main fuse box and black and white wiring diagrams are about as much use as the proverbial chocolate teapot. Sorted. Thanks to this man here.
Yes, Mr. My Online Car Guy. One. Uh, apparently it works quite well on bikes too. Oh wait, did I say I was not going to film any of this electrical stuff? Yes, I think I did, didn't I? Mm. I lied. All right, let's do something more exciting. Um, well, hardly, really. Um, <laughs> anyway, brake reservoir coming along. Got bracket ready. Uh, just need a 5 sixteenths, 18 thread. And we're good to go. Oh, I know, more bloody electrics. But look, we have brake lights. Yay. And... Um, Yay! Oh, now it's a bloody mess. And was that any help? Mm, not so much. Was that any help? Uh, not so much. Was my labelling any help? Not at all. Girly trial and error. We even got a speedo. Currently registering naught miles an hour, which is uh, precisely correct. Heading north, it's better than heading south. Precision engineering. So yesterday I was all like down in the dumps because nothing was going right and I couldn't get anything to work. And um, I think the top tip for the day is uh, leave it alone, go to bed, come back to it the next day. Fresh mind. And with the real brake light strip, we have running lights, we have brake lights. We have running lights, brake lights. Brake lights, brake lights, kill. And I have been persevering, and um, I've worked out that Reg, the rectifier, has uh, a green. Which corresponds to that green, and that's uh, an earth, or a ground. Yeah, another mystery solved. Okay, we've just been drilling a hole through for the wiring for the uh, the brake light, the rear light. Yeah. And in order to thread it through, I just put one of those um, heat shrink doofers on the end, and we'll get it in the hole. I'll show you what it looks like on the other end. There we have it. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't shrink that on there, I just wrapped all the little wires in there. And uh, while we're talking of that, if you've watched any of my other videos, you already know this, but uh, LED strips can be cut at any point. Uh, you'll see that here there's a like, twin, so that's for the, uh, the orange, the indicators, the flashes, the blinkers. These are just your regular lights, and then I've trimmed it to here. Now, the problem is, um, well, it's not a problem, honestly, especially here, because it never rains, but it has a little rubber doofer at each end, and of course the rubber doofer doesn't fit in there now. So I'm going to use, uh, yes, a heat shrink wrap uh, over that end just to seal that off. Let's do that. So I've just tucked it over those last two. Let's fire it up. By the way, these things get bloody hot, so do not be tempted to use them as a hairdryer. Could be f fatal. So having snipped off the end, I just warmed it up again and uh, just closed it up. Water time. There we go, all mounted up and bolted up. Um, the brake reservoir. Uh, the only thing I'm not confident in are these, because I can twist them around with my fingers, as you can see. So I'm not confident that they're tight enough to uh, stop fluid pissing out. We shall see. As usual, um, when you look at it, everything's upside down and um, it'll be much better this way around. So this is now going up and the, uh, the Allen nut is hidden like it's supposed to be and it all looks neater and tidier and the reservoir is higher. And so it goes on, taking it off, putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on. Turn it upside down. Alrighty, we just ordered a back tire eventually, despite customer services. Um, <laughs> it couldn't really tell me whether it's going to fit or not. I bloody hope it does. Anyway, I've got knobbly. I've got an old knobbly. No, I know, I don't really like knobbly tires, but um, nobody's going to be doing a hundred and bleh on this, so yeah. Oh, I think it will look good. Very cafe.
So I suppose we should get the arse end up in the air and uh, get the wheel off and then uh, give it to Chris, get the tyre on. Oh yeah, brake drums. We're going to put those new drums in and then put the rods back in that we straightened out and sort the back end out. Yeah. And if you remember, that involves this amazing contraption. Uh, so I can prop the back end up on this, still move it around, because we don't have the engine crane, and the engine crane is about 20 times the size of that. So, cool. First, we've got to jack it up, and that involves this. By the way, this also doubles up as an amazing camera mount if you're using your phone. Yeah. So it's a 22mm on this side and a 24mm on this side, which is really unhelpful, Honda, but that happens to be 15 sixteenths. Yes. Got one of them. Pretty sure I went out and bought a 24 mil, but I can't find the damn thing, so there we go. Breaker bar one side just to hold it, and uh, ratchet on the other side to uh, turn it. Yeah. And then just um, adjust these boys in so that they're on the axle. One free wheel. So, is that the Second or third time we've had the back wheel. Yeah, he's counting. I anyway, can't think of a better point to end this episode on uh, with a, than with everything up in the air. Mm. So, as usual, thanks for watching. Um, do appreciate you uh, tuning in for these updates. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And, of course, encourage others to watch my lunacy.